Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, Tensor Art have something really exciting to share with you again. Last time we have trained and generated images using the SD3 model. This time we are going to show you how to create your AI model with Hunyuan DIT model. So let's dive deep into it. Head over to the Tensor Art website and log in. Once you log in, you will be directed to the home page of the website, and here you can see various models and AI tools, which helps us to create really amazing content. Click on online training. Now here on the edit page, you can train the Hunyuan model in just a few clicks. Now click on upload image. It is recommended to upload high resolution pictures for better training results. You can select the model theme to standard for Hunyuan model, and here from the use space model section, you have to select Hunyuan DIT 1.2 and select the recommended settings for better results. Also, if you are new, it is recommended to use the basic model. It's right up in the top right corner. Now you will see various tools and features on the page. Click on batch cutting and these feature will help you to crop all your images to the same. Super convenient, isn't it? Now the auto labeling feature automatically tags all of the images uploaded and you can click on the image to see its tag. Now in the batch add labels, it will help you bulk add tags into images. You can choose to add them in the beginning or at the end of each tagline. In the Tensor Arts online training workspace, we can choose the number of times each image is repeated from here, so we can skip this feature now. Now set your desired parameters, and remember that the total steps are calculated by the number of images in your training, set by repeat time epoch. And also the total steps affect the credits consumed during the model training. More steps means the higher the credit consumption. Now in the trigger word section, use words that justifies your needs. In the next step, write the prompt to direct the AI for the generation. Now that was just beginner's basic mode, let's dive into the professional mode. If you spot extra stuff in your generated images, you can lower the tail learning rate. Also, you can crank up the tail learning rate if you do not meet your needs in the generated images. Now the learning rate scheduler determines how the learning rate changes over time. Now the optimizer is used to determine how the neural network rates are updated during the training. Next, network dim, in which dim represents the dimensions of the neural network. The larger the dimensions, the greater the model's capacity to represent data. However, the model will also get big in size. You can lower the size down by changing the network alpha. Smaller network alpha mean lower weights. You can shuffle the set words by clicking this button. And if you want to keep words specified words in the beginning of the prompt each time, you can drag the slider for it. Noise offsets improves generation of very dark and very bright images. Also, you can write negative prompt to remove any unwanted things to get generated in the image. Also, you can select the size of the generated images. But it is recommended to use the default settings provided by the website to meet the best possible results. Now click the Start Training Now button to start the training. Once training is done, we can pick the best results from it and hit Publish. Always remember to click Create New Project. For the next steps, fill out the project name, channel you want to publish the model, and tags which will help users to find your model. On the host, a model page. Fill out the model version, then base model which Hunyuan DIT, and then fill the training steps and training epochs number for the model to generate your images in the counted cycles, after then type the trigger words that belongs to images the model will generate. And then there comes the description where you have to write about your model. After that, select the basic model, which is again Hunyuan DIT. Then there comes negative prompt, where you have to type the details for the AI to exclude something from the images. Now, you can upload images for the cover of your model, and then you can give permissions for users to use content. After a few minutes, the model will get deployed and we will generate our first image to see how it works. Click Run and just fill out all the details for your image to be generated, and in a while, you will get your results. The result just looks wow. So that's all for today. That's how you can train the Hunyuan DIT model. Go and train your own model on the TensorArt website and create something fun. Also, TensorArt is hosting a massive event for you to win crash prizes that will blow your mind. Go and check out the website. We will see you in the next one. Until then, peace.